Hi everybody, it's Allison, video number four. Um, we are on my sixth treatment of chemo uh, and uh, six more to go. So I'm doing pretty good here, I'll have a point. Uh, but a couple people who are getting ready to go through the experience, I figured I'll just kind of show you what I go through when I come uh, over here for uh, my chemo and uh, Herceptin treatments. Um, chemo, when you come in in the morning, uh, they will do a blood draw on you. They check all of your stats uh, for your red blood cell, white blood cell, hemoglobins, all that. While you are in the process of waiting for your test to come, sometimes you'll see the doctor. I did see her today, just general questions. How do you feel? What are your symptoms? Blah, blah, blah. Again, only symptom I have, hair loss and a, a tiny bit of heartburn once in a while. Oh, also to uh, in my nose, I get not sores. I have a couple little dried out sore areas that keep crusting up with some dried blood. And anytime I blow my nose or um, uh, itch or pick, um, and that little scab comes off, I'll get a little blood. But it's coming from the sore, not the any other part of the body. So all as well. Another kind of mild side effect I'm getting from chemo. Uh, when I come in in the morning, um, first thing you do. Uh, you go in for your blood work, you get a series of blood panels drawn, they check your white blood cells, a whole bunch of stuff. Hold on. See if I can this kind of give you a, I don't want you to sell that, but is this all kinds of sheets um, with all your blood counts. So they want to make sure you're bouncing back and your good blood cells are um, re, um, reappearing as the chemo day week wears on. So then when I get here, then they hook you up in your port with it. Uh, that's actually done while I'm getting the blood work. Um, they poke a little tube in there. The tube is all connected and everything is fed right through there. So I don't even have to go through pin pricks or anything. This I don't even feel when they go through it. They're going through surface skin, but it doesn't hurt. Um, like a needle pick for two seconds. And then they have you hooked up to one of these machines and that machine um, kind of monitors the drops that are coming in and all that stuff. So just to give you an idea, up on the top is whoops, where the chemo and um, actually the chemo is going in now, but we start off with a Benadryl solution. That's about 20 minutes. Then we do a Pepsid AC and then um, a steroid at the beginning of every uh, treatment. Now I've got the chemo um, hooked up and just all comes through the same tube. So that is what that looks like. Now, uh, they told me that ice packs um, you can get from chemo, a numbing of your fingers and your toes. Uh, in order to avoid that, they told me to use ice packs. You could get special gloves and hat and feet. It's not worth that. So my handy dandy ice bag is peas, frozen peas. I use them over and over again. I put one under each foot and uh, one under each hand, and I kind of rotate, flip my hands, and uh, kind of take my feet off for a break. So I do that only during the chemo session. So now real quick, hair. As you can see, receding hairline is getting thinner and thinner, thinner and thinner. I'm going to be bald soon, I bet. Don't look at the wrinkles, though. It doesn't help wrinkles, so. Um, but uh, just to show you how thin, this is pretty clean hair, and it just, it's so, thin and scrangly and and again every handful oh shoot now am i going to put that <laughs> don't want to make a big mess in here so you can even see it's all over my shirts and stuff too so uh don't think i'll be keeping it after the chemo treatment it'll probably start um being more and more but you can see you can see my scalp through the top um, I remind myself of the um, that funny character in Kingpin who um, is the landlord and uh, what's his name didn't pay his rent and then she wants some favors to get out of rent and she comes out with that scrawny hair. Um, so that's what it looks like right now. Uh, that's why I haven't updated. It doesn't look much different, but teeny bit. Uh, so after this next one, if I get a big dramatic loss, I will film again. If not, we'll try again next week, but I'm hoping so. I have some, a couple people gave me some really cool um, head bonnets and stuff. So I'll show you all the different things you can do. But again, I think all I'm going to do is the little ponytail um, and then I stick it to a baseball hat in the back. So Oh, God, I wonder if they can fix those wrinkles. Oh, and I don't have any makeup on, moisturizer or anything. I came um, just with a little mascara. So don't look 
that's more scary than the chemo. Okay, so anyway, that's kind of an update. That's why I haven't updated too much, but it'll give everybody an idea of what I go through once a week. Right now, I'm halfway done. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. The weather's supposed to be beautiful. Do not sit at home on a computer. Get your butts outside. And again, for those who didn't have mammograms or haven't gone in a long time, get your butt to uh, the doctor or to the, get a mammogram because um, if we if they catch it, they can fix it. If they don't catch it, uh, it gets scary. So go get your mammogram. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. What beautiful weather.